everybody, my name is Chris Provost and from Provost Park Pass. We have some breaking news that's happening in the world of Disney and whoa, we got a lot to unpack here. But before we get to that, let me just say this. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and hit that little bell notification. That way you are always notified when there's a new breaking news video about what's going on in the world of Disney. Plus, every Wednesday we do a new video about Disney secrets and cool Disney things revealed. It's awesome. You guys will love it. Trust me, you'll like it. Hit the subscribe button. Okay, let's get on to the Disney news. There's a lot. Let's break it all down. First thing first, right now, they are finally, this is the first time this has ever happened. They are going to be doing Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom license plates. What? Yes, they're going to get a license plate. It's going to be that uh, Make-A-Wish blue, and it's going to say, have Disney lettering on it. And it only is going to only be in the state of Florida. People in the state of Florida right now can go register to get these license plates. They will be issued on October 1st of 2021. And... 100% of the proceeds of these license plates is going to go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Disney's had an amazing uh, ma uh, relationship with Make-A-Wish since 1980. These license plates are going to be exclusive. There's only be a small limited number of them. And once they're done, they're done. So if you want to get a Disney license plate, if you live in the state of California, you can pre-order it right now. What? I never thought I'd be saying that in the news, but that's, that's literally what's happening. Next thing, this just started today and is going to be going through April 23rd. Disney at Walt Disney World is going to be doing facial recognition. That's right. When you walk into park, it'll just, instead of using your magic bands or whatever, they'll be able to do it just by recognizing your face. They are currently testing it starting today and be testing it for the next 30 days. This is an optional thing that you can do. If you want to do it, when you go to Walt Disney World, you can see a little line there saying facial recognition. You get that line, you can opt in this. When you get that line, you go there, they'll take a photo of your face. You can keep your Glasses are okay, sunglasses, no go, hat you have to take off, but you keep your face mask on for the facial recognition and it still works. You then tap it with your um, your uh, magic band or show your your ticket to that way you put a unique ID to your face. And then when you come back to the park, you just have to walk through and scan through the line. It's like, boom, boom, you're good to go. Facial recognition. <laughs> is happening at Magic Kingdom starting today. Now, they are just testing this out for the next 30 days to see what's going to happen. Who knows what's going to happen? And it's completely 100% optional. If somebody under the age of 18 wants to participate, they can, but they have to have their parents' per, uh, permission. After 30 days, the face, uh, the, record, the software is going to be deleting all those faces out of the system. This could be replacing magic bands in the future. This could be how they do it in the future. They'll just do all facial recognition and they're just testing it right now to see how it works. What a world we live in. It's like, wow. Uh, hello, Chris. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Walk on through with your new unique face. <laughs> what? It's amazing. Now, let's get to the bulk of the breaking news. So much has happened today on Disney Entertainment. I'm shocked. All these announcements just came out today. I got a whole list here of them, so let's go through them. First, Black Widow and Cruella will now premiere on Disney Plus at the same time that they open up in theaters. It's going to be a special like rental fee of $30 to rent these films. But the day that they are released uh, in the theaters, they're also going to be released on Disney Plus. It's going to cost you $30 if you'd like to do that. This is a big shift in paradigm of what Disney is doing. They've also changed and pushed back the dates. Cruella is now going to be scheduled for May 28th. And then Black Widow is going to be pushed back two months to July 9th. Uh, Black Widow is supposed to open up in theaters only on May, May 7th. But they pushed it back now to July 9th. Say it's going to open up in theaters and on Disney Plus at the same time. That means that the Shang-Chi Shang and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which is previously set for early July, is now, that's going to be pushed back until September, um, September 3rd. And that is only going to be released in theaters. Now, meanwhile, Pixar, they have this coming-of-age adventure called Luca. It's not going to be released in theaters. It's only going to be released on Disney+, Plus, and there's no charge for it. They're just releasing on Disney+, Plus, much like they did with Soul. And that's going to be coming out on uh, June 18th. Then, this is, this is some other things. Despite the, this, this whole redoing this thing on uh, Disney+, Plus, there's a bunch of films that Disney is still going to release just in theaters. 
Most of them are notably, they're a 20th Century Fox that got in acquisition, but then they're only going to release them in the theaters. And those are Free Guy, the Ryan uh, uh, Reynolds movie, will be coming out on August 13th. The King's Man will come out on August, uh, December 22nd. Deep Water is coming out January 14th of 2022. And The Death on the Nile is coming out February 11th of 2022. So this is kind of exciting. They're they still going to start releasing them, saying they're going to be doing them strictly in the theaters on the 20th century side. The other ones, like Black Widow, I mean, what? They're going to be releasing it on Disney+. Plus. Who would have thunk it? I can't believe it. Now, notably missing from this whole thing, and they didn't even really talk about it. Like There's like this little tiny sand grain of talk about it, is the Jungle Cruise movie starring Emily Blunt and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This is what it says, is that it was supposed to be released on July 30th, 2021 in theaters only. Nothing was mentioned about it at all. Does that mean they're going to push it back? Does that mean they are going to release it on the, on the, in the normal theater schedule? Remains to be seen. I mean, I, I think that they would have said they're going to be pushing back like the rest of the films. And since they did not mention it, maybe they are going to be releasing the Jungle Cruise strictly in theaters on July 30th of 2021 of this year. Wow. I mean, that's going to be crazy. I, I hope that they do that. It's so exciting. They're, I mean, they're going to be retheming the whole ride of Jungle Cruise anyways, not to the movie, but there's a lot that's going on in the Jungle Cruise. So uh, if you want, we got a video right over here. You can watch about the secrets revealed of the Jungle Cruise in Florida. So this is exciting news. I'm curious to what you think. Would you rather watch Black Widow in the big screen or are you going to rent it on Disney Plus? What are you going to do? What about, I mean, what about Cruella? I mean, I, I, these are blockbuster films, huge, and now they're going to release them on Disney Plus. Mind blowing. Also, put it down in the comments down below. Would you participate in the facial recognition or would you like opt out of that? Would you be like, yeah, I have no problem with that at all? Or are you like, mm, that seems a little too big brother for my liking? I'm curious to what you think about that. And I also, I have to know this. Would you get the Disney license plate? I think you, I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, why not? 100% of the proceeds are going to make a wish. Why wouldn't you get a really cool license plate that's benefiting these these children and family in, in needs. I think that's awesome. But down in the comments down below, if you would or wouldn't get the license plate. I'm pretty sure almost everybody would get the license plate. But I think it's kind of interesting. Would you do the facial recognition as well? I think I wouldn't have a problem with the facial recognition. I'm surprised that you can do it with your mask on still. That's kind of shocking to me. That means that literally they only need this much to determine what your, your facial recognition that's mind-blowing to me. All right. Well, anyways, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that uh, like button. Oh, and hit that bell notification. That way, anytime there's breaking news, you will be notified first what's going on in the world of Disney. And every Wednesday, new video coming out about the world of Disney or Disneyland or, uh, you know, some cool theme park. Get some cool secrets revealed. You know the drill by now. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.